The following video has been approved by the Jetty marketing team. The video has been rated Jetty. The following video may not be suitable for all viewers. G'day mate, welcome to Dyson Sphere program with me, Jetty. This is a brand new video, brand new game, just been released hours ago on Steam, and we're going to give it a whirl. Why? Because it's an automation game, and let's be honest, uh, I love them. I love them. So, we're going to go straight into a new game. Now, it is in early access. I will say that first off, and the second thing I will also mention, that I've already been playing this game for like... 20 hours 20 hours roughly at this stage so i know sort of what's coming uh consequently we're gonna we have to listen to some of the tutorial i've actually turned the tutorial on full bore because the tutorial was actually updated in the last 24 hours or so so uh one thing i am gonna do i don't know if you have to do this if you haven't seen my already existing um is Dyson Sphere worth your money video? Recommend you go watch that first and then come back to this. But I am gonna turn the resource multiplier all the way up to infinite. Now, it's not technically infinite, at least it doesn't seem to be, but I'm gonna turn it all the way up just because I don't know if running out of resources is going to be a thing. And because I can, basically, they're the two reasons. That and I'm worried that I'm gonna set up a planet I'm gonna, we're gonna walk away from it, we're gonna come back 20 hours later and find out that the planet stopped working because it ran out of iron. So, we're gonna start a brand new game. We are gonna run through the pretty infographic, uh, this one. Um, yeah, we're gonna run through this because it's part of the tutorial, sort of. Uh, Welcome to the actual universe. You may find it's different from our homeland, should you be able to adapt to the laws of physics in a short time. I am your advisor. And will help you through this mission. Also, because it's quite pretty. Let's be honest, it is super pretty, especially as we can pan around. Look at our little rocket ship. Look at that giant sun. That is a G-class sun, I think it is, which means it's the same as our sun. Everything here is yours. As one of Cosmo and the pioneer of the Dyson Sphere program, you will explore this cluster step by step. By using the resources here to construct the Dyson Sphere to provide energy for the center brain to maintain homeland, starting from scratch. I have chosen a designated planet for you to start the mission, which has necessary resources for initial development. Now please drive the space capsule to the planet. So, we're going to land on Zeta, uh, Sagittari, Sagittari, third, being the third... The third object from the sun that has... I don't know. I can't remember. I'm not an expert at these things. I will probably become an expert as this series continues. Speaking of this series, down in the comment section below. Now you are about to reach the designated planet. Thanks. Down in the comment section below, tell me how often you want to see an episode for this series. It is going to be a let's play. I am going to be going through the whole game. Um, as I said, I've already got... 20 hours in the game or so already so i sort of know what's coming uh on top of that i will actually be streaming this probably right now over on twitch so if you want to see more dsp um don't forget to hit the like button at the same time subscribe to make sure you grab tomorrow's video day after video this is icarus a lightweight industrial mecca with powerful functionality you can use the arrow keys or right click on the destination to control its movement in this mission you will manipulate Icarus to travel beyond the stars and create miracles. At the same time, click like, click the subscribe to make sure you grab the next video of, or the next video in the series. Now try to recycle the space capsule. I'm talking, right -click dude. Right-click, to recycle. I'm talking. Okay, at the same time, um, yeah, if you want to see more, you can always go jump over to my Twitch channel. I will, as, as I'd be streaming this, probably by the time this video is finished. I'll be live on Twitch. Anyway, with all that said, we're going to recycle that because we've been told to. And we're going to hold down shift to set up a couple of recycle queues. You can use the same operation to collect resources, such as trees, gravel, etc. In the meantime, hold down shift and right click to give a series of commands. You receive several items after recycling the space capsule. Click the inventory button in the lower right corner of the screen 
to open the cabin to view them. So, a quick look around, and we can see we have uh, coal, iron, uh, stone. There's more coal over there, some more iron over there, some more coal over there, some more iron right the way over there. Uh, but this is going to be very, very hard to build on. You can on. hold down mouse middle button drag to rotate the angle of view, or slide the mouse wheel to zoom in and out. Did I mention we fly? Uh, we've got iron here, some copper here, and some stone here. So I think we're going to wander over this direction and start our base here. Yet you have not unlocked the construction menu, which will be done automatically when complete any technology research. Click the technology tree button at the bottom right of the screen to open the technology tree and activate a research. Now, I haven't mentioned it yet, but I'm going to mention it now. You might know, notice the advisor doesn't speak English as a first language. Turns out the devs are actually a five-man team, or I think it's three men, two women team, uh, based out of China. So English is their second language. So you might notice the, the advisor's not so great with his English. Um, yes. So we want to jump the tech tree uh, whilst the mech keeps going and doing things. So the tech tree. The tech tree is fairly long, fairly extensive, and this is just early access. I can see more tech being added to the game as uh, the game progresses. In fact, we still have this accelerator Mark 1, Mark 2, and Mark 3 being added currently as the game is launching into uh, into early access. Um, in saying this, this is technically pre-release of the game into early access. Um, as I said, I do have an earlier copy, a press key, so maybe things have changed by the time you guys actually see the final copy i do expect a zero day patch to pop up uh, on top of that we have actual upgrades to our mech so we have certain upgrades we can do to our mech you know basic things like more power faster walking inventory capacity uh more drones we'll get to the drones in a minute um regenerating energy faster faster drones and also better travel uh, yes, because we can't go interplanetary yet. And then down here, we do also have... These are like upgrades for the base. So these are certain things we can upgrade to upgrade the overall efficiency of the whole base. Um, ranging from, you know, higher logistics capacity to faster engines for our logistics robots. Yes, we do get robots. Uh, to vertical construction, we can actually build up. It is a three-dimensional game. And yes, height is going to come very, very much into this game. So, with that said, we're going to start uh, munching on some iron. Because we're going to need some iron to start us off. And it's already the sun is already setting. We're going to jump in our technology tree. And the very first tech we need to get is electromagnetism. Uh, Okay, so we're going to activate that research, which means we need to double click to view recipe. Hey, okay, we need to have 10 of those. So we, down here we have a produce button. We can actually turn this up. So each time we click this button, it's producing this amount of items. So if we go to iron, we can see we're producing one at a time. If I set this up to 10 and click that, it'll craft 10. We're going to need 10 magnetic coils for our very very first research so we're going to click that button we can see the total craft time is 25 seconds uh, and at the moment we're also Energy running out of power in all mega activities if it is depleted the activities will be restricted you can click the mecha panel button at the bottom right of the screen to open the mecha panel and resupply fuel into the fuel chamber and when he says things are limited, uh, basically mining becomes super, super, super slow. You can keep mining because you are going to have to keep mining to put more, well, to gain energy to put inside your mech. On top of that, building is basically barred and flight is definitely off. Uh, yeah, we can not get airborne at all. So we can come down here and we can throw some energy into our mech. We can burn anything burnable, one of it being plant fuel, uh, some of it being some logs and... That's about it at this stage. Uh, I didn't see any. I didn't see any coal over in this direction. So we're just going to go rip up every single plant we can get our eyes on. 
so we've unlocked new automated mining machine which will automatically collect ores for you of course its capacity is limited you may wish to transport these materials to a smelting facility automatically uh okay you we have created a mining machine to achieve want to get rid of that collecting automation pick it up from the inventory or select it on gathering of construction menu to build it Okay, so we can either pull it directly out of our inventory because of this very very early research you do get you do get the items um you do get a you do get one of each of the buildings as you finish the research. Or we can build it straight from the building menu. I'm gonna grab it straight from the building menu, rotate it a couple of times so it's facing the right way. Rotate the mining machine for covering more veins. Can I talk? The more veins covered, the faster the ores will be gathered. If you want to ignore grid snapping. Try holding down the shift key. And as you can see here, we're going to touch three nodes. Here, we're going to touch, what's that, six nodes. If I hold down shift and just give it a little bit of a wiggle, I can get in an extra node, which we're probably going to do, unless... Actually, that's probably even better. So, we're going to dump that down there. That will be able to mine resources automatically, providing we give it power. Uh, so we're going to put down a single wind turbine. That is the best power option we have currently. And that is, if we wind click turbine. on it, can see... You established your first power grid. I'm Auto talking. Power facilities has its power supply area. Use the Tesla tower to extend the area of the power grid. So, we're only meeting 71% demand for this actual mining machine to run at full speed. Uh, as we can see here, we actually... Oh, pull that out. We can see we're running this at 140% of its power load. So we need to obviously have some more wind turbines. If I double click on this, this will bring up our production and automatically select the right item. I want to build this probably in a batch of five, but as we can see up here, I only have the resources to build three of them. So we're going to click that straight up and we can see we're going to be short on copper. So let's go over here and... Grab some copper at the same time. Mecca. Uh, throw the fuel in there. And that's all we can use for fuel so far. Alright, so we're going to burn off some fuel. Hopefully keep our batteries charged. Uh, at the same time... Actually, matter of interest. Yeah, it does stop burning. So, hopefully keep our batteries charged as we burn up some fuel. We need to find some coal. Coal is very, very good, cheap, early fuel. And I think there was some over in that direction. Stone, 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 so much stone. More stone. Uh, that's more iron. That's some copper. I don't see anything else over the horizon. Alright, so we're going to grab some more copper so I can produce another five of those real quick. Uh, at the same time, we're going to have to go back to our research and we want to start looking at some automation. So, I would really un like to unlock Metallurgy. So, this will give us a smelter which will automatically smelt our materials for us. Great idea. Uh, as you can see, it's going to require these two items. So, if I handcraft 10 of those and handcraft 10 of those, uh, we have a crafting queue that's going to be 180 seconds. But... That should get us up and running. At the same time, we have these wind generators. So I'm going to spread these out, trying to get over as close to the copper patch as possible. And one thing we might also want is we might also want more iron. Let's run over there. Because I'd really love to get a mining machine down on the copper as well. That would definitely speed things up. And there we go. Uh, can we... I only need one of these at the moment, so we're not going to build them in batches of five, just one at the moment. And let's go, whilst we have such a long crafting queue, let's do a few things. One, let's go airborne. No, can't go airborne, airborne yet. Okay, we're going to walk across. We can, as long as we've told the mech to go somewhere, have it fly across uh, little lakes, little rivers. And that there looks like some coal. Yes, we're going to spend some time harvesting this. Because coal has uh, 2.7 megajoules compared to our plant, flu f plant fuel at 500 kilojoules. And I can't remember what wood is, but it's not very good either. 
Uh, so if we throw that in there, that should give us plenty of fuel. Yeah, you can see how much slower it burns. Uh, it does burn everything right to left, so you normally want to clear out the worst of the, the worst of the stuff first. And as long as we're getting uh, coal faster than we're burning coal, I'll call that a win. Our replicator queue is still 80 odd seconds long. Uh, we don't need that, don't need that, don't need that. We'll just stock up on just a little bit of coal. Now, as you can see, our power drain is down here. We're actually using power faster than we're actually burning our resources to put the power back. So that is something you need to keep in mind. You can't keep your mech running 24-7 doing crafting and this and that. You will run out of power. Okay, so we're going to open that. We're going to click control and click on that to move it all into our inventory. Um, so yeah, we are, we're definitely going up in coal, but we're also going through our power reserves. At the same time, let's go back to research. We do have an upgrade over here that we can do fairly early. We have mech core. So this gives us an extra 40 megajoules worth of total max core energy. Okay, so that's 40 megajoules worth of uh, extra power we can store. That's all it is. It's a bigger and better battery. So we're going to upgrade that one as well. We can see that that needs 20 and 20. So again, we'll go in here. We'll go components. We'll go 10, 10 and set that to 10 as well 10 10 cool uh, right, let's go back okay you've unlocked the smelter which will automatically smelt base materials such as iron and copper ingots for for you to achieve full automation you need to use a sorter to automatically put the ores on the conveyor belt into the smelter yes we need to definitely step up our automation still all right so, we have got a couple of things. First off, let's go over here. Let's dump down a... Nope, let's dump down our miner. And we'll start automating our copper. Uh, let's try and get as many nodes as possible. Okay, that's the best we're going to... Oh, there we go. There's another one. Uh, okay, that looks like the best we're going to get. Alright, so we'll drop him in there where he needs to be hooked in the power network. Now we can use these Tesla towers, which have a very, very good range of effect. Or we can just throw down a wind turbine. Um, the wind turbine is going to link into the power network already and also provides power in a very small area. So we can see this guy is now up and running, which means we can grab uh, copper automatically. At the same time, mecha panel, throw that in there. We can see our batteries are slowly going back up. We did unlock three smelters, so let's go over here and get some smelters put down. So, we now have a larger total core energy, so we can store 140 megajoules now instead, which is a lot more power. At the same time, research. Can we go back to technologies? And we would like to get basic logistics system, being belts, uh, sorters, which transport... Uh, cargo from conveyor belts into facilities or between uh, facilities can install filter to filter the cargo at the same time we also get a storage container so we're going to activate that research again same story we need to uh oh, we've already got 10 of those in stock okay we need 10 gears to get us up and running so we're going to craft those and we also are going to put down those smelters like i said and i'm going to put one two three you built a smelter, okay. which can smelt basic materials, such as iron ingots and copper ingots automatically. While you want to make the raw materials and products get in and out of it autonomously, you need to use sorters and conveyor belts. See what I said about the not so great English? So, we want to do an iron ingot, and as you can see here, this little sign says copy. If I hit the less than, I think that's less than, uh, we can see we've got a little pop-up over here. It's not After centered on the mouse. You can use the less than key to copy the recipe and the greater than so key many to paste tutorials. the next building that needs to set the same recipe. Okay. So we can use this you one. You received the sorter and the conveyor belt. And then we can, can use that one to paste use the recipe the in. To transport okay. the piled up ores As you can see, it's machine. not lined up with my and mouse. The can deliver the ores from okay, the belt we'll call it the early access. Alright, we want to hook up a belt. Now, when putting a conveyor belt, all you need to do is um, determine the starting point and the end point of it. In I'm trying addition, to talk through this, dude. Use the up arrow key to lift up one level, and use the down arrow key to drop down one level. 
after the conveyor belt is lifted. Press keypad 0 to reset the construction height of the conveyor belt to the ground. If you don't want the conveyor belt to be attached to the belt, you can try holding down the shift key. Okay, so, normally conveyor belts uh, have to run past a building and then you'll use a sorter to move items in and out. In our particular case, when it comes to the smelters, uh, the, the miners, it actually has a hole here which directly hooks into the belt. So we can actually put that there and then run our belt all the way across. And it is literally a click, point, drag, click again, and then our friendly little drones will take off and go do things for us. Now, as we can see, this guy has power, this guy has power, this guy was just unlucky and managed to get into a perfect spot between two different wind generators, so he didn't get power. The sorter uh, is a transportation connector of cargoes between facilities. It will automatically transport them as long as the supply facility and the receiving facility are bridged. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to grab a sorter and we want to have it go from the belt into the machine. Now, as you can see, we have all these boxes pop up around the machine. You have three different slots on each machine you can insert materials into. Doesn't matter whether you choose middle, left, or right, but it means that potentially you can have, in the case of this building, three different materials coming in from three different belts and three different outputs to three different belts because that's the next thing we're gonna do. We're gonna have an output belt, which I only have that much belt. If we double click on this, we can bring up our belt production. I can only make two of them. I'd really like to make 10. Can, oh, you don't have power. Okay, power, we were talking about power. My options are, I can put down another wind turbine or I can put down a Tesla tower. If I whack a Tesla tower here, that's definitely gonna power up all three smelters along with all three sorters in and sorters out. So we're gonna dump that there. And at least now we can start automatically you have smelting. Done building the first power so facility. we can Tesla tower. pick these it up. Can carry out short distance wireless power transmission and expand the power supply area of the power grid. Click on it to view the current power grid information. Okay, so we can see that uh, we're at 95, 96% uh, satisfaction already. We can already see we're short on power. Wind turbines don't produce a lot of power. And of course, this machine is off currently. And if we just click on this one, no. Uh, how do we get the... Aha! So we have work consumption of 420 kilowatts, but it also has an idle consumption. So even if the machine is doing nothing, it is still going to be uh, consuming at all times 24 kilowatts worth of power. So there's something you're going to have to keep in mind. It also means you're going to have to constantly be expanding your power network. So we need to bring our belt out just a little bit further. Uh, at the same time, we want some sorters going out there and there and there last thing I want to do is I want to grab a storage container no I don't have one uh, let's grab five because I prefer not to reach into all the machines to pull materials out I'd much prefer to have just one dedicated storage container at the end where I can pick up the items from and nope we're still handcrafting pick up the items from and rather than having to reach into three different machines. I haven't found an easy way to take the materials out of a machine without opening opening them up, which is a little bit frustrating uh, and does definitely slow down, uh, slow down production. You can shift click on a building to duplicate the building with its recipe already preset, so that is definitely something. Okay, so we're gonna put down a storage container, right, actually, we're gonna put it here. Now, as I said, storage, which can be used to store cargo, you can manually store or use the sorter to automatically stock the cargo. Okay, we can grab a sorter and we can shove it from there to there. As you can see, they do have a significant reach. But if we hover over this, we can see its sorting speed, i.e. its transport speed, is 1.5 trips per second per grid tile. So, obviously, if it has to travel one, two, three grid tiles, it's going to be much, much slower than had I just built, let's get rid of that, let's put our storage container hard up against the belt, 
step out of the way and then throw it in there instead. It has much shorter distance travel, moves a lot more material faster. So that's definitely what we want. At the same time, we're going to want to also set up uh, the exact same for our copper. So I'm going to want two of those. We've already got a storage container. Uh, one thing we can do, and some buildings, not all buildings in DSP, but some buildings you can actually stack one on top of one another. So as you can see, this has storage for 30 slots. And the one above it is a completely new storage container that's directly linked to the one underneath, which also holds another 30 slots. So if we change this back down to zero, we can see it's automatically going to start filling the one, in one on top. Uh, honestly, we want to leave it uncapped at this stage uh, because we're going to want all the iron we can get our hands on early game. So let's grab that rock. It's just making me grumpy. Uh, power. We did make four more of these. So I'm going to put one there, one there, one there. When being outside of and building one there. range, you can hold down the shift key and use the right mouse button to click on the open space to control the mecha to move. And same story, we're going to want smelting uh, on this side of the belt. And actually, we're not going to want all of those that's a bit better uh, and yeah I've gone and built power all the way up there because you might as well stretch your power network as far as you can um, over time you will find that you're going to want to uh, you're going to want to stretch out further and cover more of the planet and it doesn't Having all your power centrally located doesn't really help you. You might as well spread it out so at least then when you go exploring and you find some other resource, chances are that you already have a uh, a power network of some style nice and close. Be it wind turbines, be it just power poles, be it whatever it happens to be. So again, we're going to put down a storage container right there. We're going to have you run that out there that out there nobody got power so we're gonna might as well do another turbine and we also want a sorter to go in there we're also gonna want i'm gonna want another one of those and back to our research of matter of interest what else do we have? So we have basic assembly process. So this is when we're going to start getting into the real automation. We also have the electromagnetic matrix. Electromagnetic matrix. Yes. As the foundation of all technology, the electromagnetic matrix is one of the basic source codes that keeps the center brain stimulating. Keep uploading to the center brain can achieve more technology research researches. Yeah. Uh, we also have fluid storage encapsulation. Uh, this uh, technology can encapsulate the fluid in the container, making transport uh, more convenient. We have high efficiency plasma control. Under the action of electric and magnetic fields, we can use plasma more efficiently. Uh, the improve, improved plasma exciter is more stable, has better performance. And finally, we have the electromagnetic drive, unlock the basic power system component electric motor. So we have a couple of researchers, but as we can see, these require blue, random blue magic magic matrix cubes uh in fact basic assembly process is the only thing that requires something that we can actually craft so we're going to grab one of those uh same time where were we up to with our power we're going to throw in a power there to power all that and we're going to set your recipe to being uh copper plate and we're also going to run over here because I do need to set up another smelter to do an entirely different recipe. So we're going to put one there and hold down shift click on a belt to get a bit of belt. Uh, power wind turbine. Yeah. Now you can't build wind turbines too close to one another so that is something you need to keep in mind. You're probably going to have to use Tesla Towers eventually and we'll drop that there. That should level out the terrain a little bit. Oh, not really. Uh, okay, we're going to want to bring raw resources in, raw resources out, and you, we're actually going to set you to a magnet. So the magnets come directly from iron ore, and we're going to bring that out in a belt, 
But as you can see, I don't really have room for storage right here. So we're going to grab another storage machine. We're going to line it up, bring it over here. And after I make more belts, because I've run out already. No, nope, I have exactly zero on me. Okay, we need to wait for some more belts. Uh, what was that research? We needed uh, 10 of those. And 10, 10 of those. Same time, let's grab some copper and we'll grab some iron because we're going to end up using it a fair bit of it. Uh, belts, we can actually build, build the belts right across the water without a problem. Uh, we don't even have to take it up to a higher terrain, which is something we can do. We can say, hey, you, let's move up a tile, two tiles, three tiles, four tiles, five tiles, so on and so forth, and build one hell of a bridge to nowhere. Uh, anything's possible. Okay, build it in that. Uh, that direction. Uh, power once again. Yep, there you go. You're now you powered. Now click the planet thumbnail button in the lower left corner of the screen. Or press the M key to try the planet view mode. And yes, belts are magical. Super magical. And they float over nothing. Don't argue with it. Just accept it. It's going to make your life easier. Okay. Uh, we'll remove that belt, which means we get all the resources back from the belt, along with any resources that were on the belt. We can... Okay. Unlocked a similar machine, Mark 1. You can use the... You can make iron and copper ingots into more advanced products, but its speed is slower. By upgrading the technology, you can get a faster assembler. So we're going to want to go into production, grab an assembler, and there's a couple of items we could definitely do with. So as we can see, this... Uh, this storage container doesn't pull things out at full speed. So we're going to continue on the same belt and have... Nope. A filter thing going there. We're going to have it start producing gears, uh, which require no power. Uh, can I get a... Really? You're so stuck for not having power. Okay. Uh, can we get 10 of them again, please? Uh, and we're also going to want five of those. Okay, back to power. I've got that. We'll throw down our Tesla tower. Actually, I'm going to throw it down behind. Because I'm probably not planning on using the space right behind this machine. Alright, so you'll start making gears. We're going to have the gears output. Oh. Do we have any more fuel? No. No, we're, we're, we're running on limited battery. Um, okay, so we're going to have to run a belt behind. Um, I'm going to actually put the belt as close as possible before branching out. And actually, let's turn the whole thing around. Uh, we'll bring the belt in this direction. Have, come on. Have you output onto the belt and what was the other thing we wanted another one of you which for the moment let's dump you there because the other thing i'd really like to make would be circuit boards and hopefully I have enough belt to get all this done so we need a belt there i also need a belt We ran out of power. Oh, they are still building. Just. Uh, okay, what options do we have to burn? We have organic crystals, which are rare, hence I don't want to burn them. We also have the hydrogen fuel rods, which actually came with our little spaceship that we crashed, landed with, landed with. So I'm going to actually put just one of those in there. Just enough so we can finish this task. And then I'm going to go grab some coal because I'd much prefer to be burning natural resources that I can replenish rather than potentially burning something that we can't replace. All right. So we need to take iron in the front to make electronic circuits and then copper in the rear. And that should start making some circuit boards. Now, 
it's a little bit tight in here, as you can see. Between my um, wind generators and the belts that we're running, the gear belt already, um, it's not. There's not a lot, exactly a lot of room. So what we're going to do is we are going to run. Can I make that belt? No. Can I bring it down a notch? There we go. Okay. So we're going to bring the belt up and above. Oh, really? I'm one belt short. Okay. We're going to put one of these outputting onto that belt. We're then going to, after we finish crafting the belts, yes, bring that back down to level. We could leave it at the higher height, honestly. Um, that's neither here nor there. And we're going to call that done for a very very early production now we don't have the technology to split lines or merge lines or do anything like that currently so it does mean if i want to take this copper to somewhere else to another production i'm basically going to have to loop the belt past or have it come out of my storage but they're all things we're going to worry about in the next episode i'm going to leave this episode right here i do thank you guys for watching as always so please if you enjoyed the video click the like button I would appreciate it very, very much. Definitely helps feed the YouTube algorithm. At the same time, I do invite you, if you're new here, to click the subscribe button on the way out. And as always, I do thank you for watching and have a nice day. Bye.